Hey, it's known to all the family, to the nation of Yada, Israel, Yada at this time. May the um, peace of Yada be with each and every one of you. May the Ruach overshadow you and give you this knowledge. Uh, brothers, this video go express out to the brothers at this time, the fathers and the sons, brothers and sisters, by the words of Yada. I'm here to show you the words of Yah once again that is very important and it's very imminent for this time, brothers and um, sisters. That you adhere to the every words of Yah. Because many of our brothers is killing each other out there. And many of our brothers don't know themselves, brothers and sisters. I, may, I say sisters because I know some sisters will be watching this video. But this video is especially for the brothers. For the Abba and the Ben, the sons and the father. And I ask you all um, fathers to look at your son. Because I know many uh, of my brothers that uh, teach on the internet, they are fathers. And many of you uh, teach gearing and directly to other brothers. But before I get into the video, I want you to think about some things when you look at your son. And concentrate on them for a moment. The same thing you teach your brothers or tell your brother from the scripture, do you teach it to your sons? To those who um, um, just spread lies or just go around playing with scriptures, or get into the, uh, these uh, scripture debate, do you do this to your sons, brothers, and sisters? I want you to think about these things. This video is not here um, to uh, get on you, but to get you to think. Do you apply the thing to your son? I, I, I have my son in the room with me. He don't know what I'm going to ask him, but I talk to him often, often about these scriptures. So I'm going to question them for a moment. This has not been planned out or any way. I was the only one to know that I was going to do this, but then he's, he's sitting right beside me for a moment before I release him. I'm going to ask him a question. Son, do you know your enemies? Yes. Speak up. Yes. Who is your enemy? Esau. Brothers. Sisters, you see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. These are the things our children should know, or you you could be excused. So these are the things our children should know. They should know their enemies. These are things you you, you would not get from the school, the teachers at school. These are, are the things I'll be able to say, teach our children the way, the law, the statute, and judgment. That when they get old, they should not be popped from the way. Each one of our children should know who their enemies are. Brothers and sisters, th this is the truth. And these are the things our, our, our children should know, the truth. Nothing but the truth, brothers and sisters. When you know the words of Yah, you should not be teaching and telling your children, um... The things, but I know a lot of our brothers and sisters teach our children according to our knowledge, what we've been taught, even though it had been falsehood, and we was in error at the time about a Messiah came, because we don't we don't know our, know ourselves at the time, so we tell them the things, or we don't tell them nothing at all. So our children go around blind, and so when they meet somebody, somebody else indoctrinate them, put something else in their mind as a thought. I'm going to read some scriptures, and we're going to get into it. All come from the prophet book, Malachi, but they call, translate his name Malachi, but his real name is Malachi. We're going to get into That's very important. I'm going to start this off with verse 1. I'm going to read a little bit. It's very important that I read and I'm going to explain as I go. It's very important, brothers and sisters. 
especially to the brothers, that the uh, the fathers turning hot to them to them to their sons, and the sons turning hot to their fathers. It's very important. I'm gonna reread that. You can find all of this in Malachi, but I'm gonna give you the words of Yah that is very important to each father and each son. And that you also may know our history, our past, what took place among the brethren and Yah. So right here in the book of Malachi, I'm reading this from the translation called the scriptures at this time because I don't have the original, so I had to go with what I have. And say so the message, the message, verse one, chapter one, the message of the word of Yah to Israel, Yah by Malachi. He said, so "I have loved you," said Yah. So this message coming to the ox, the brethren the whole nation of Israel Yah by the prophet Malachi Yah he said I have loved you said Yah but as in what way have you loved us that was a question was not Esau Yaakov brother declares Yah and I love Yaakov. But I have hated Esau. You got to understand these things, brother, of y'all saying. And have laid waste his mountains and his inheritance for the jackals, for the wilderness. He said, if Eden say, we, the same time for the same one, the same seed of Esau, Edom, we have been beaten down. Let us return and build the ruins. And your host said, Death. Let them build, but I tear down. And they should be called the borders of wrongness. And the people against whom Yah is enraged forever. Let's keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. Each of you brothers need to take this too hot concerning Esau, our ancestor that's the brother and he said this to his seed after, after him he said your eyes shall see and you shall say great is Yah you see that beyond the borders of Yezreel Yah he said the eyes will see of the brethren of the people how of Yah bring Esau down Verse 6 A son esteem his father, and he serving his master. If I am your father, he's talking to Israel, Yah, the whole 12 tribes, so keep it in mind. Where is my esteem? See, he's talking about where is his esteem, where is his reverence, his respect. If I am a master, where is my fear? Which is. He's saying, if he is a sovereign, where's his fear? Say of Yah of hosts to your priest. See, now of Yah, he's directing this at the priest who was our teacher at that time. Who despised my name. See, the priest despised the name of the creator, who is Yah. But you ask, in what way have we despised your name? And these are this is the words replied from Yah. You presented defiled food on my slaughter plates. You see that, brothers and sisters? You see that, brothers? Red dead is your answer. When the time they was bringing the atonement to Yah and other type of uh, offerings to Yah, they brought defiled animals to Yah. See, the animals, the clean animals, wasn't a problem. It was the defiled ones. But eventually got our people put out of the land of Israel, Yah. 
And I'm just showing them just how they hated of your name. They despised his name. The word despised also in Hebrew, I mean, in, in uh, another uh, translation for this word, I mean, another meaning for this word other than despised is also pierced his name. So they pierced the name of Yah. They brought his name down to nothing in the people's eyes and in the nation all around them because of what Abiyah had to do to them and put us out their lane. So it made Abiyah look weak in the nation's eyes, like he wasn't able to protect them, but he withdrew himself from us. But let me get into this, brothers and sisters. Because, because this right here is what the, the males, because all males are the priests also that come from the line of Levi. You've got to keep that in mind. But the people brought the defiled animals. They accepted these things from the people. And they would reject it, the people would have stopped the sin. But they accepted these things. But Abiyah did not accept the defiled animals. To the point of he stopped the defeats and all because of these things. So let me get it right here, brothers and sisters. You got to um, bear with me with this video. It might take me a half an hour or better to finish. But it's very important that you get all of it. Don't turn your ear away from the truth, brothers and sisters. Seven, you are presenting the foul food on my slaughter place. But you ask, in what way have we defiled you? Because you say the table of Yah is despicable. Verse 8, and when you present the blind as a slaughtering, see, they present the blind animals, this is the defiled animals. See, as a, as a slaughtering. Is it not evil? Of course it is. And when you presented the lame and the sick, you see that? They brought sick animals to y'all, lame animals that couldn't walk, blind animals that could not see. Is it not evil? Yes. Let me continue. In verse 8. He said, bring it then to your governor. Will he be pleased with you? That was a question. Will he accept you favorably? Said Yah of hosts. Of course he know no leader wouldn't accept that. So uh, Yah is no different. He's much greater. Let me continue verse 9. That's, that's no respect, no esteem for the name of the Creator. That's what he was telling them. Verse 9. He was telling that to the priest from the, uh, the prophet mouth. In verse 9, it's saying, Now, entreat the face of, of Barak to show favor to us. This has been done by your hands. Will he show favor to you, said Yah of hosts? Of course not. So let me continue to read verse 10. Who among you who will shut the doors? that you would not kill the fire on my slaughter place for naught. I have no pleasure in you, said Yah of hosts, nor do I accept an offering from your hands. You see that in verse 10? And I read to you early why Abiyah would not accept them offerings no more from our hands, our ancestors, the priest's hands, because they presented the power, but not the perfect ones. Like I told them. In Leviticus chapter 22. You go to Leviticus chapter 22. That's where you can see the, the law concerning the office of Yah. The clean. He said he would only accept the pure animals. But he said if you. If you he told them way back then. When Moshe uh, uh, explained, was explaining to them the law. To never bring the foul animals. Or he would not receive you. And so I carried it out. He told them I'm not going to receive these things. I'm not going to accept these foul animals. But they rejected the words of Yah. And they did these things anyway. They rebelled against him. So you got to know these things, brothers. So, so I gave you the law where to um, um, read it at. Uh, I'm giving you the penalty phase right now. I'll be out bringing it on them. Just the judgment. The decision that I'll be out said because in the law, he's told them the law, the statute, and judgment. All that applied to the laws he was giving unto them. He gave, when he said the statue, he gave them the detailed structure how to keep these things. Bring the clean ones. But no defilements. 
He said, you bring a defilement, I'm not going to accept you. And then he going then uh, after that, the judgment phase come in, the penalty phase. So keep that in mind. You got to know the laws of Yah, the ways of Yah. Verse 11. I'm going to verse 14 right here in chapter 1. And it reads, For, for from the rising of the sun, even to the going down, my name is, is great among the, the nations. See? His name is going to be great among the nations. This is a promise. And in every place, incense is presented to my name. And a clean offering. You see that? He states a clean offering. For my name is great among the nations. Said Yah of hosts. This is going to come to pass, brothers and sisters. Verse 12. But you are profaning me. And that you say the table of Yah is defiled. And they're the one defiling the table. Not Yah. They're the one wrong to defile animals. But they're the one defiling the table. But they're saying these things. And it is and it excuse and it fruits it food it food is despicable. Verse thirteen. And you said, "Oh, what weariness!" And you sneered at it. See, David said that. Oh, y'all. See, he recalling everything he told the prophet. Everything what they were saying. For the, um, the prophet, the, the prophet, to repeat the things back to them. Let them know. Oh, y'all heard them say these things. Say for y'all of hosts. And you brought in plunder. See, they brought the, they were brought in stolen animals and presented to Yah. And the lame, he repeating it again. And the sick, death, you have brought in the offering. Should I accept this from your hand, said Yah? You see that? Every brother, you need to know this, brother. This is because we got brothers speaking against the laws of Yah. Even in that book, in the New Testament, they call um. Uh, Hebrew book, but it's a false Hebrew book. In chapter ten, they tell you, and they try and they make fun of y'all, and they, and they make fun of, of y'all um, law and say of y'all did not desire the offering. He did not desire the unclean ones, the defiled ones. He always said he wanted the perfect ones. That's why he been told you right up ahead gonna come the time when the nation is gonna bring clean animals to y'all, the perfect ones. So you got to understand the uh, uh, distinction, brothers and sisters. They put, they put everything in the New Testament in one um, basket to try to deceive you and get you to think of y'all hated animal offerings. Hated the defiled ones. So you got to understand that, bro. I'm not mad at you, but just the falsehood that been brought out into the earth. And they put it in a book. So right here, and he said, should I accept... This verse, the end of Psalm um, 13, shall I accept this from your hands? Said y'all, of course he won't. No sick and, and, and um, lame and blind animal. Verse 14, he said, but curse be the deceiver. See, this a person deceiving lion who has a male in his flock. He's talking about the one he wanted, the perfect male in the flock, and make a vow. They make a promise to give this perfect one to y'all, but it's slaughtering to y'all what is blemished. See, but they slaughter. It's like they're putting it behind us. Keep the um, beneficial ones, the healthy ones behind us, and get them uh, jokers on uh, the priests. Uh, they sell anything. Get them on uh, priests. Not knowing uh, y'all watching the whole setup. Get the priests, and the priests are selling these things for, for a bride, and, 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 uh, and, and they take them and offer them to Yah. That's why y'all said it was our own offerings, our own Sabbaths. We was keep These would be how they would be, the way they would be fouling all of y'all. Because all of y'all wasn't on the scene, but he was watching. So he sent his prophets. That's why the prophets came in and took play. It said right here, it said, But curse be the deceiver who has a male in his flock and make a vow, but it's lord unto Yah. What is a blemish? For I am a great sovereign, see? Saith Yah of hosts, and my name is feared among the nations. You see that? See, Ab Yah is a great sovereign. And these are the things Ab Yah had to punish us with. And so I'm, I'm going to continue off. This might be about an hour long video, something to that effect. But everything is very important in this uh, prophet what, book, I'm telling you. Because it's dealing with right, right now, brothers and sisters. 
and the condition we are in right now, and the mindsets of our brothers and sisters in right now. This book is so deep. Let me get around right into it so I can speed it up a little bit. Chapter 2 reads of, of Malachi. And now, O oh priest, this command is for you. You see this again, brothers and sisters, everybody um, that is of the priest of Yah, of the seed of Levi, because every, the all twelve tribes is not priests of Yah, but the priests only come from the seed of Levi, the tribe of Levi. But I'm going over the priests of Yah that did these things back in the day, and this was a judgment against them. He said, now, O priest, this is for you. And I'll be honest, also, in this point right here in chapter 2, if you recall how wonderful the priest was at one time. And he also, in the same book, he, he called how defiled they became, how evil and wicked they became, and the people. And the, and the, and, and, and the priest, in the eyes of Yah, was highly exalted at one time. And you're going to see that. Even some uh, characteristics of the priest, that's where they put it on the fake Messiah and claimed he was the one. But it was the priest of Yah, and you will see that. So let's get into it right here, brother. So it's very important. This is a very important um, prophecy right here. And, 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 and past history that took place. He said, now, O oh, priest, this commandment is for you. If you do not fear, excuse me, if you do not hear, and if you do not take to heart to give a thing to my name, says Yah of hosts, I shall send a curse upon you, and I, I shall curse your blessings. You see that? This is what the, uh, the prophet told him. And you know they did not take heed to Yah. And the curse came upon them. And all of y'all cursed their blessings. That's why people say, oh, we say blessed. I'm telling you, we're not blessed. In captivity, you think you're blessed. If all of y'all remove the blessing, there ain't no way in the world you can be blessed in captivity. Even though you can accumulate a lot of things sometimes, if things will go your way, that's not the blessings of Yah. That's just mercy. You got to know the difference between the two brothers and sisters. Not um, beating you down and trying to make you look dumb. I'm trying to help you to see the words of Yah plainly. It's right here. He said, I should curse your blessings. And indeed, I have cursed them because you do not take it too high. You see that? Right there in, in the prophet Malachi, you see right there where the father cursed and removed the blessings. It was the starting point when that uh, prophet came with these words to them. Because they did not take the words of Yah the high. So let me keep I read it right here, verse 3. He said, see, I shall rebuke your seed. You see that? See the word rebuke, which I see is also is, is correct your seed, who we are the seed of. And also the seed of the priests, of the Levites, he said, he's going to correct them. So all those who are of the seed of Levi, the punishment is for your correction. Many have been punished and sentenced to death, but now we're at the point. When the knowledge is given at this time, the rock is given a return for all the Levite priests to know these things and teach it to them, their children. The punishment was for your correction. And also, the, the teaching of uh, the words of Yah now is for your learning that you may change and convert your heart back to Yah. Repent. Is that I shall rebuke your seed and scatter doing excuse me and scatter dung before your faces. If you don't think this is true, ask those um, brothers I heard from uh, the ones that were taken to Jamaica. And every day and then their correction by the European people, they made them eat their own dung. The old feces that come from their body, brother and sister. It's saying the dung of, of and let me read it. It's saying you should rebuke your seed. I should rebuke. I mean, I should rebuke your seed and scatter the scatter dung before your faces. The dung of your feast, 
see? And you should be taken away with it. You see that? And many dogs came with people's faces on them boats. There was in close quarters, feces everywhere, dunk, according to the record slave accounts on these ships. You know, y'all don't play, brother and sister. Everything he said came to pass. It's right here. Verse 4, And you should know that I have sent this commandment to you, and being my covenant with Levi. You see that? He talked to the priest, the Levi, the tribe of Levi, said, Yah of hosts. Verse 5, he said, My covenant with him was life. He's talking about the seed of Levi. He said, My covenant with him was, was life and peace. And I gave them to him. See, I gave them to him. See, to the seed of Levi to teach. To fear, see, to fear, to reverence Yah, respect Yah, and he fed, and he fed me. Keep that up, see, he said he fed me at one time, he looked, at the time he said he fed me. You got to take this out, what I'm showing you right now, because this way they, they start putting all this stuff right here, this character that was on the Levite at one time, on Levi at one time, they start giving it to this um, false messiah. He was perfect. He was the one without sin. Listen to the words of Yah applied to Levi, the priest, right here, who right now we say he's going to correct it, right here. It's right here, brother. Pay careful attention. How they rob from, from what is true that will contribute to the Levite priest and put it on one man. They try to make this one man so special, a pure man sin offering. The of Yah, that's not even a law of Yah. It's right here, brothers and sisters. Let's read it. Verse 5, my covenant with him was life and peace. And I gave them to him. You see that? And to fit. And he fed me and stood in awe of my name. He said the Torah of truth was in his mouth. You see that? You see that? The Torah, the laws of truth was in his mouth. The Levites' mouth. So we see in the makeup of this one, of this, of the priesthood, the, the priests, the money concentrating on them at this time, because they was in charge. So let me go back a little bit, um, on verse, um, I'm right here, it's very important that you get this, verse 6, my screen temporary black, I'm trying to keep it going, it's saying, my covenant, no, I'm going to 6, and the Torah of truth was in his mouth, and um. And unrighteousness was not found on his lip. You see that? And, and no unrighteous, unrighteous was not found on the on the lips of the priest at one time. Let me continue. He walked with me in peace and straightness, and turned many away from crookedness, see, from sins. You see how they try to say, and then they take in the, uh, um, the fake New Testament. And he, uh, and he died to save many from sins. You see that? The same set up, they got it from here, brothers and sisters. That's where they, they rock and they put a little twist on it. Right here. The words that was talking about the priest, right here. Let me read it. He walked with me in peace and straightness and turned many away from crookedness, see, which is sin. Verse 7. For the lips of a priest should God notch. You see that? You see what we're talking about? The lips of the priest should God notch. And they seek the truth from his mouth. You see that? For he is the messenger of Yah of hosts. You see that? The Levite had a wonderful office. They don't regain it again. The priest of the seed of Zadok. But right here, it shows you something very important, brothers and sisters. The reputation, the priesthood at, at one time, and how y'all looked at them at one time, and how they loved y'all at one time. And there was no unrighteousness found in them at one time. But they became defiled, brothers and sisters. And that's why we got put out of the um, land. So right here, it said, For the lips of the priest 
should guard knowledge. And they seek truth from his mouth. See, when, when a priest is righteous, we have been seeking truth. If everything is stayed intact, but it's not, man, you, obvious. We will always seek the truth from the priest. Right here, say, and they should seek truth, the Torah, from his mouth, for he is the messenger of Yah, of hosts. Verse 8. I'm going to go down to 14. But you, but you, you have turned from the way. You see that? You have caused my, excuse me, you have caused many to stumble in the Torah. You see that? The priest did. When the priest turned from Yah, it caused many to turn from Yah. From the way of truth. It said, you have corrupted the covenant of Levi. You see that? The agreement. Say of Yah of hosts. Verse 9. And also I shall make you despise and loathe before the, all the people. Because you are not guarding my ways. You see that? The same thing with all Yah told Abraham. To guard the ways of Yah and teach it to your seed. Your children. That's why my son, he, he didn't know I was going to ask him that question. I asked him. And I was hoping that he say Esau. And not just say white. Because all I'm not Esau is not all European people. Even though a lot of European nations do a lot of wicked stuff. But he hit a red on the nail. Brother said, he was thinking. I was listening to him, watching him. But he said it. And he remembered, brother and sister. So we got the God's the way of Yah. We got to teach our children this, brothers. That's why we got problems in this nation right now. That's why we're so slow to come back together at this time. And take knowledge. We got so many rebellion ones among us. They don't know their enemies from, from their brothers. And brothers become enemies and haters of each other. These are here. It's in the writing. I'm going to read it. Some of it. So let me get my place. Verse 9. I got to explain some of this. Some brothers why I, 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 why I just can't read and explain it. Because if you don't explain it, it's going to go right over your head because you don't think you know it and you don't know it. So right here, it say because, of, uh, let me go back up, 9. And I also, I shall make you despise and loathe before all the people, time of the priest, because you are not guarding my way, see. Because they're not guarding his way, he's going to bring them low. Among all the people, and and are uh, showing partially. Excuse me. He said, "I should also make you despise and loathe before all the people, because you are not guarding my ways and are showing partiality in the Torah." You see that taking bribes. Ten. Have you? Have we not all one father with one album? Did not one Barah created us? Yes, one created created us. Why do we act treacherously against one another? You see that, brothers and sisters? Many of, of the brethren of our family killing each other day by day. He said, Why are we so treacherously against one another? To profane the covenant of our fathers. See? You see that? We, the, the agreement that our ancestors made. We profane the, the agreement that they made with Yah to love each other. To God, when we guard the ways of Yah, a part of the God's the ways of Yah is to love your brother. Father to love your sons and sons to love your fathers. That's God in the covenant. You got to get this, brother and sister. You got to take this to heart. It's right here. But when you don't do this, you become the least. Among all the people, the despised. Hated among all the people of your own and the other nations. But when you lift up and guard the ways of Yah, here's the one that will uh, 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 exalt us because we got to exalt Yah and, and exalting Yah and guarding the, uh, guarding the ways of Yah, we become exalted. You gotta get that, brother. It says it right here. Many brothers think I hate them because of the things I say, but I don't. I'm only here to bear the record of the truth. 
my brothers and sisters. Now my son about to wake up. I'm about to call my wife. Excuse me. y'all. Come and get the baby. He's he, he, he waking up. So I'm uh, right, uh, right here. No, I'll, I'll leave the baby up. But now I leave the baby. Let your mother get it. Leave him alone. Excuse me, fam. Uh, right here. This is real life. So right here. I, I, I covered. Um, I, okay, let me go. I got to make sure uh, I, I got everything. I said, um, y'all has acted. No, God didn't get that yet. That was verse 10. Um, verse 11. It said, y'all has acted treacherously. Which is just from the southern nation. Acted treacherously. And abomination has been done in Israel, y'all, and in Yash Shalom, which is the capital city. For y'all has profaned what is set apart. You see that? The southern nation. Y'all has profaned what was set apart, which is in the temple, also the altar, which he had loved. See, which he had loved. And have married the daughter of a full mighty one. You see that? See, and he see he profaned the one he said he which he profaned what is set apart to Yah, which he had loved, and has married the daughter of a full mighty one. See the on uh, the on uh, the Elohim, the gods, or whatever you want to call them, the people that serve uh, uh, of other nations that serve these things. Our people start turning to marry them. Verse twelve, and also accept the deities, the gods, the Elohim, or whatever you want to call these things they worship. Verse twelve, it says, let y'all cut off from the tents of y'all code. See now, they're talking about the whole fam twelve tribe, the man. Which is the beans, Yah Yahudin, who does this, stirring up or answering and bringing a offering to Yah of hosts. And this you have done a second time. You covered the slaughter place of Yah with tears, with weeping and crying because. He no longer regards the offerings. You see that? Nor receive it with pleasure from your hands. See, remember all the things they've done. 14, and you said, Why? Because Yah has been witness between you and the wife of your youth, against whom you have acted treacherously, though she is your companion and the wife of your covenant. You see that, brothers and sisters? It's very important to understand that. The wife of your covenant is we should marry from within our own nation. But when our people start looking upon the strange uh, women, and also these strange women have these strange figures they serve, the, the idols, the images, the gods that our people turn to. And disregard the covenant of Yah, brother and sister. And, and see, the many men do that today, and they put their own sisters away, and go and chase the, and, and marry and take on a covenant, not even of Yah, but of a of, 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 of strange nation, brother and sister. With that, let me go on. Um, chapter one is very important. Let's continue. It's gonna be about an hour long. I only have a little bit more to go. Chapter three. Chapter three. Malachi, they call him Malachi. But the real name is Malachi. I'm gonna, I got to show you something very important right here. Everything is very important, brothers and sisters. This is to turn your heart to your uh, your sons and, and the hearts uh, of the sons to their fathers. It's, it's very important, brothers and sisters, what I'm telling you. And also uh, um, to brothers and brothers to begin to love according to the covenant of Yah. Right here, we must guard the ways of Yah. In the part of the God of the way of Yah, the brothers must love one another. And righteousness. Not no homosexuality way. That's not righteousness. That is abomination. Poison. Things that need to be talked about. Even thought about. Right here in verse chapter 3, verse 1. 
and the see, I am sending my messenger. It's very important right here, brothers and sisters. So he said, I am sending my messenger right here. Again, I hate to even bring the book in, but I got to because they made the book up with this lie. And say, oh yeah, this John the Baptist is the messenger, the one that precedes this Messiah concept. But you'll see this messenger only come in this time period, brothers and sisters. Not 2,000 years ago, but only in this time period. You're going to see that right here. Because when you see that, what I just read to you, the condition of the priest. Because this part of the message right here is talking, dealing with the priest again. And you're going to plainly see it right here. The job of this messenger. See, the messenger that come at this time period is daily going to deal with specifically the priest of Yah. Because it's a very important thing that the Zadok priest must do. Now, brother, you must have this knowledge. If you don't have it, if you never had it before, you're going to get it now. And you're going to see it now. It says, see, I am sending my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. See, he prepared the way before Yah come, this messenger. Showing you, oh, Yah haven't came yet. So keep that in mind. The last time we had regular Ab Yah came, when he came to talk to Moshe and the whole 12 tribes. And appeared before them when he gave them the covenant. That's the last record we got of Yah coming before us. So now we know he's going to come again for the second time unto us. So right here, he says, prepare the way before me. This messenger is going to do this. If it then suddenly the master, under reading the word saying master, actually should die, or Yalu, or Barah, you, you are seeking come to his temple. It's right there. It's called. See, he suddenly come to his temple. This is the third temple that's going to be built. Yes, we got to go back home and build it. That's a part of the prophecy. You got to know in, in, in the prophet book, Ezekiel chapter 40, 47, about the, about the slaughter place. In this message right here, you right here, it, it, it mentioning something about the slaughter place. And you're going to see that right when, when I get to it. Because this is the job of the message to prepare. And you're going to see that. To prepare the priest. We're going to get to that. I'm going a little ahead of myself, but I, so, I'm so excited to tell you this. I got to tell you right now. And so, and, and so we got, the head got master, but the Shaddai, which is almighty, you are seeking, comes to his temple. See, the one we're seeking, waiting for, uh, uh, desiring to see, come to his temple. It's so even the messenger of the covenant. See, the messenger of the agreement of Yah in whom you delight. See, he is coming. It says Yah of hosts. Yah verified the red dead. He's coming. This messenger of hosts. It says, say Yah of hosts. Yah the multitude of heaven. He repeats it again to you. Verse 2. And who is able to bear the day of his coming? See, who is able to bear the stain? To bear the day of his coming. To receive his message of truth. Keep that in the heart. Take that to mind. Who is able to stand when he appears? For he is like the fire of refiner. And like the soap of the launderer. So keep that in mind. Verse 3. He shall set as a refiner and cleanser of silver. So you say this man, this uh, messenger, I ain't going to say man, but this messenger, he's sitting as a refiner, a cleanser of silver, a teacher, an instructor. You take this to mind. That's what it's saying right there. Because remember, to God the ways of Yah. Everything come by instruction, just like Moshe done. He had to teach them the ways of Yah. And, and a little, little Levitical priesthood was set up to teach the, word, the Torah of Yah. 
to bring life and peace. Keep that to mind. It's very important, brother and sister, right here. Verse 3. He shall set as a refiner and a cleaner of silver, and he shall cleanse the sons of Levi. Get a, get, see, out of the twelve tribes, now tell me anyone. This messenger, some people came um, in, in the United States of America, they claim this messenger to be um, Elijah Muhammad. Farrakhan said that. I think um, Malcolm X said that. They don't even know who the Hebrew people are. But now Farrakhan claimed he, uh, he revealed it to us. That's another lie. So, um, and, this, and this movie has been going on for 126 years. And so, the Catholics said John the Baptist was this message. And the Levites was already put out the land during that time. When they claimed John the Baptist came, it was on the, uh, the, uh, the seed of Yada. When they said kept uh, kept coming up at uh, King James Version said Judah kept fighting against uh, Jesus, and another tra uh, another tribe was long gone. But then again, let me back up. The Levites was a part of um, the Yada tribe, so they was there in the land, but not during the time of John the Baptist, because Esau was there. So they claim. So you got to know all of that history. And nowhere in the, in, 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 um, the New Testament tell you about they came and deal with the, uh, John the Baptist came to cleanse the Levites. But now I'm telling you right here the true prophecy. Nowhere. He only came to prepare the way for Jesus. Who says, who shoelace I am not worthy to bed. You know that fam famous um, saying of his? When crying out in the wilderness. But this is right here, brother. This is the true um, messenger. And this is his responsibility. He said, He shall set as a refiner and a cleanser of silver, and he shall cleanse the sons of Levi and refine them as gold and silver. And they shall belong to Yah and bring near the offerings in righteousness. You see that? The, you see the offering return? After the messenger cleansed the sons of Levi, who are the priests of Yah. See, the Levites are going to be clean first. Remember, the Levites are the teachers of Yah and said, we should hear the Torah from the mouths of the Levites, from the priests. This messenger coming is going to cleanse the sons of Levi. We got to know the order of y'all, brothers and sisters, so we can stay in line. So the message, see, anybody cannot clean the sons of Levi. People got claim they got priests all over the place. They got a priesthood of staff. They're not even the messenger. They don't even know this prophecy right here, brothers and sisters. They don't even have the authority. That's why the people can hear me saying falsehood all over the place and saying to people lying because I know the prophecies of Yah and I'm giving it to you right here anytime people claim a priesthood and once, once I know they're false anyway when they use, use the term God I already know that these people are not even knowledgeable yet because our Yah is not a God or they use the term El or Elder these people are further from the truth brothers and sisters So read right here, it says, And he shall cleanse the sons of Levi and refine them as gold and silver. And they shall belong to Yah, bringing near an offering in righteousness. You see that? You see where they bring this offering near, where they're going to bring the offering to? The altar that has been rededicated. And chapter 43 of Ezekiel explains that to you. Who gonna, who gonna represent these slaughterings on on the altar? The son of Levi from the Zadok seed. See, these are all the things you got to know, brothers and sisters. 
It's very important right here. That's verse 3, 4. Then shall the offerings of Yada. You see that? He said, Then shall the offerings of Yada. Remember, I said at one time, I also would be found. I read you earlier. Now, at this time, you know that the messenger is on the scene. When the sons of Zadok, the priests, be clean and ought to be built. He said, Then is right here. Shall the offerings of Yada and Yashalom. Be please, please. I mean, excuse. Be pleasant to Yah as in the days of old, as in former years. You see that, brothers and sisters. That verse right there, all by itself, when you understand the rest, totally eliminate everything about the New Testament, showing you it was a stoppage at one point, and showing you as what occurred in the days of old, the practice. The custom, the ways of keeping the Torah is going to be reinstated. Once again, the same way. The sons of Yah, you get that right here. The family, the nation of Yah, the whole southern nation of Yah will only be accepted then back to Yah. Let me read it again. It said, Then shall the offerings, talking about the offerings of Yah in Yah Shalom, which is at the capital city, be pleasing to Yah as in the days of old. You see, the days of old, before, the days of old before the punishment came down. The days of old when it was perfect. Remember, in the days of old when it was perfect, they obviously accepted, but the time when they became imperfect, Defile. He said, I'll be out to shut down everything. You can read that in Hosea ch chapter 2 11. He said, Stop at the feast. He said, I don't want the new moon. I don't want your offer. I'm not taking nothing from you. I'm getting all you all getting the hell up out of there. He didn't say the hell of I said the hell of out of there. But he said, You're getting up out of this land. And he brought he brought, he brought the enemies in to drive us out. Like some scriptures did. The north wind came. When he said like the north wind came to drive you out, he talked about the north uh, military force came from the enemy to drive you up out of there. And that's what all y'all mean, and that's what he did, and that's what been done. And we are the seed of them, the remainder. He said, then he said, two thirds of you gonna die. Some by war, by the sword, and some by famine. And only one gonna be tried and come through this fire. Brothers and sisters, this is the remnant. I'm talking to right now. These are the living words of Yah. So let me get it. So it's just for it's so important to know. It is so sure the offerings of Yah and Yah Shalom be pleasing to Yah. Just for all the ones that keep saying offerings and making fun of Yah out of ignorance. Remember how Yah Abiyah said his people perish because of lack of knowledge, a lack of knowing him, knowing his words. These are the words of Yah right here, so the offering is going to be reinstated, like of old. Your New Testament and Hosea say, oh, Yah had nothing to do with them old. They say, that's why they try to insinuate and say the Old Testament. But Abia said the same old way is returning. The same old thing we done then must be redone in a perfect form until then. That's why he said he got the clean. The messenger going to come and clean the priests of Yah. And I'll be able to receive them back into him once again. But the priest got to be clean. And then from the priest being clean, and every, then, uh, then the priest accept everybody else offering, and they become clean. Just like the same old way again. It's right here at the end of 4. Let me read As in the days of old, as in former years, 5. And I shall draw near to you for right, for right ruling. You see that? You see that? Well, all y'all say he's going to draw near to us after this process takes place. He said he's going to draw near to us in right ruling. He said, I shall be a swift witness against the, pra the pra practitioners of witchcraft and against the adulterers and against them that swear to falsehood. See? God, y'all going to move on them swift. When, it, when that process takes place, 
Will the Levite be clean? And all of y'all receive the offerings from Yada and Yashalom be pleasing in y'all's sight like in the days of old and in former times. The same manner he was taking it did. When we do these things in the same manner, manner all of y'all say you can move swift against all the, the rebellious ones. The ones with this false message of a Messiah against those who oppress the wages of wage, wage earners and his wages and widows and the fatherless and those who turn away a, a sojourner and do not fear me says Yah of hosts he said, for I am Yah and I shall not change you get that brothers and sisters he says Yah and he will not change regardless of how you may think but he's not going to change for you and you O sons of Yaakov now the top of the whole twelve tribes shall not come to an end so that Yah, you see that? That's his promise. So the gates of hell, nobody in this earth can bring us to an end. Right here, verse 7. Now I'm going to cut it off right there. Verse 7, you can read the rest. For a second time, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm still in the same chapter 3, I'm going to go down to verse 16 and 18. It's a dead show, those who fear Yah speak to one another. You see that, brother? That's why I'm doing this um, video to the brothers and sisters that fear Yah. It said to those who fear Yah and speak to one another. And Yah, listen and hear, and the book of remembrance be written before him of those who fear Yah and those who think about, excuse me, and those who think upon his name. You see, those who fear y'all, it'll be a book of remembrance uh, written for you with your name in there. And those who think upon the name of Yah. That's why it's important to know the name of the Creator. With that, I'm, I'm going to finish it off. So right here in verse 4, it reads, it says, For look, the days shall come burning like a, like a furnace and all the proud, see all the proud when they're talking against the words of Yah, and every wrongdoer shall be stubble. See, everyone that uh, break the laws of Yah shall be stubble. And the day that shall come shall burn them up, save Yah of hosts, which lead to them neither root or branch. But to you who fear my name, there it goes again, the son of righteousness, they got the son of righteousness right there, But it's, let me go and read it again. But you, but to you who fear my name, Yahzikwa shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out, leap for joy, like calves from the stall. And you shall trample the wrongdoers, for they shall be ashamed under the sole of your feet. And on the day that I do this, self God of hosts, he said, remember the Torah of Moshe. He said, remember the Torah of Moshe, verse 4, and my servant, which I command him, and the whole air for all Israel, all Israel, y'all, laws and right rulings. So keep that in mind. He said, remember the Torah of Moshe that he gave to Moshe, his servant, which I command him in Oreb for all Israel, Yah, the laws and right ruling. He said, see, I am sending you Ilya, the prophet, before the coming of the great and awesome day of Yah. You see that? The message of Yah. I read you in chapter 3. is Ilya, the prophet. Before the coming of the great and awesome day of Yah. None of these guys out here that talk is Ilya the prophet. Because he knows all the ways of Yah. And all these people got claim to have this, all these priesthoods set up, spread a falsehood all on the earth. These people is not Ilya because they would know all of these things. They would know how to address everyone. They would know not to call uh, and, and call themselves elders. And God, God said this in 
uh, L and Elohim said this. They wouldn't say terminology like that, brothers and sisters, to uh, blaspheme the name of Yah. But they don't know Yah like that. It's right here, brothers and sisters. Anybody would not be able to clean the, the, the Levite priest of Yah with the garbage they sell out their mouth, brothers and sisters. It's right here. He said, see, I am sending you Elia the prophet before the coming of the great and awesome day of Yah. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. You see that? What Elia is going to do, he is in charge, and he shall turn the hearts of the father to the children, and the hearts of the children to their father, that I come and strike the earth with utter destruction. See, this Elia is in charge. The strength of Yah, that's what his name is. The strength of Yah. So, brother, and so you got to be careful. I don't need a, a, a man in, in, in English terminology. I don't need an ark. Who do you think Iliad was? He's an ark. He's a brother from the 12 tribes. And he's coming. If he's not here already. And he the one is responsible. So you better be careful with them words you say. Because you might gather so many scriptures but don't fully understand them. I've got always used a prophet, a, a, a brother. And sometimes a akoti he used to give his words. Like Deborah. That judged Israel for a period of time, 20 to 30 years, something to that fact. I forgot the exact term. So you got to be careful, brothers and sisters. No, I could uh, no, no, leave. No, it got to be the right one. You're right. Anyone just can't leave because many don't know the words of Yah. And we got many people just out for gain of money that don't even love Yah, don't even fear Yah. Brothers and sisters. These are the words I leave you. These are the words I give you, brothers and sisters. So these things I want you to contemplate on, brothers and sisters. So everyone who listens to every moment of, of this uh, video, it's very important that you acknowledge these things. This is what ahead of us, and this is our nation. So we got to keep our ears open, brothers and sisters. We got to be uh, ready and eager to learn these words of Yah and know the words of Yah. Yes. Brothers and sisters, we got to turn in this love of Yah. We got to guard the will of Yah. With that, I say, Shalom.